Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to code and enable wireless CarPlay on a 2019 Audi Q8 or any other 2019 and above Audis. So I think it works on the A7, the A6, etc. The main thing is a software version. So if you have this software version, then you should be good to go. The key is the last five digits, so the P2470. If you've got that or above, then follow this method and it should work. Okay, so the first step, you wanna go over to the telephone setting on the car and remove all of your currently connected devices. So if you already got your phone there, remove it and also go onto your phone, Bluetooth settings and remove the car from there. So you wanna have it removed from both places. The next thing is to go ahead and open the bonnet at the front. This is some sort of security procedure that Audi have where it doesn't let you code the car unless the bonnet's open. So make sure it's open the whole time. So once that's done, now you're good to plug in the OBD11 into the port, which is right above the pedals. You can use VCDS as well, um, but they will plug into the same place. So go ahead and do that. Okay, so what you want to do now is go ahead and turn the ignition on on the car and launch the app on your iPhone or tablet or whatever you're using. Launch the app and hit the connect button and it'll ask you to connect to the device. Tap it and enter your passcode. Okay, so once that's done and connected, tap the blue square in the circle in the bottom right hand corner and that will take you to all the modules in the car. You want to find multimedia, which is 5F in the top left. Um, that's what it looks like. And I'll put the screen recording of the iPad up now so you can see it in a bit more detail. Um, basically, what you want to do is scroll down to long coding and then once you're inside that menu, there'll be another menu called vehicle configuration. <clears throat> so once you're into vehicle configuration, there's a few things you want to change. The first one is mirror link. So if it's set to off, make sure that's on. That's the first thing. The next one is Wi-Fi client HMI. If that's off, turn that on as well. Third one is the WLAN five gigahertz switch. Make sure that's set to activated. And then there is one more, which is the Apple DIO wireless. Make sure that's set to on as well. And once you've done them four or five things, swipe the slider and it will code it within a few seconds. Okay, so now that that's done, you can just go to the home button and disconnect from the OBD11. Okay, so once it's coded, go ahead and hold this down for about 30 seconds until it restarts and you'll see it come up with navigation plus okay so now we want to connect the device to the car so go over to the phone settings um, and click connect mobile phone then bring up your iphone and connect to the car it should just be called audi mmi or something there it is click it and let it connect accept the message on the car and obviously accept the pairing code on the phone and after a few messages, you should get a pop-up saying use for Apple CarPlay, like so. And then you'll get a message on the car, click Apple CarPlay, and you should be good to go. It should start working just like that. You don't need the wire or anything. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So this will work on any 2019 plus Audi, as long as the software version is the same, as we said. Um, and you can use VCDS, OBD11, any sort of diagnostic cable to do it. If you have any questions or anything, drop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So that's been it. If you did find it helpful, then drop a like rating and subscribe for more car content. Thanks.